quiet. Here we go. This is it. We're here. Who there, man? What y'all want? Police department. The fuck you want? What do we want? Well, for starters, open the door, asshole, before we kick it in. Man, look here, don't get all excited. You in a dangerous motherfucking place. Ain't nothing wrong with me trying to figure out who I'm opening this door for. Well, now you know. It's an N.O. fucking PD, bitch. Now open the fucking door. Bitch. All right, Mr. Popo, you got it. And let me see some ID first. You fucking kidding me? All right, G. Yo, yo. Here you is. How's that working for you? Ah! I got an officer down. An officer down. Shots fired. 108. I got you, man. Come on, motherfucker. I need medical u turn from an OC Haley. Officer down. I repeat, I need a medic ASAP. Stay with me, Dave. Stay with me. Code red, code red. Officer down. Shots fired. 180. Officer down. Oh, Dave, don't you fucking die on me, man. Stay with me. Sorry, man. Shut the fuck up. Trey, they're coming. Fuck! Motherfuckers! You motherfuckers! Fuck Reno up! It's cool, buddy. The medic's coming. But it's gonna take a lot more of you motherfuckers to fuck me up!
mobile check. Can you believe this? So what do we know? Well, besides this poor bastard, you've got the, uh, the grandmother and the mom, and the little boy and his sister. So what's all this white residue? It looks like fire extinguisher spray. Now, I know this is going to sound a little out there, but based upon the multiple stages of the burns and the residue, it looks like they doused him with an accelerant, ignited him, then they extinguished him. Then they repeated the entire process at least two more times. Who owns this place? I mean, who's paying the bills here? Let's see, uh, uh Malcolm Varanato. Vernado? You mean Malcolm Vernado? Vernado, yeah, okay, that's right. Why, you know him? He's a reporter for the Picayune. His big brother, Weto Vernado, also happens to be one of the biggest drug dealers in New Orleans. You don't say. Meaning? Meaning. We just stumbled into something way the hell out of our pay grade. I'm looking at it, Mike. It's right in front of me. Come in. I don't care what you all heard. Truth ain't determined by a majority vote. You think I'm exaggerating? Why don't you all come down and uh, take a ride along the streets with us? Well, that's convenient. You can call me back if you want to pick this up again. You know, one day, just one day, I wish they would declare open season on the politics. Yeah, amen. <laughs> How you doing, Pete? Good. Um, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, anytime. And what's the latest? What's going on? Well, a few things. Uh, one of them being a favor I need from you. Yeah, no problem, shoot. It's about that reporter from the Picayune. Yeah, Widow's kid brother. Yeah, he's on the warpath. Well, Malcolm was his pride and joy, so if Widow gets to those guys before we do, we'll be lucky if we find anything but pieces. Yeah. Which just brings us back to the favor. Uh, Homicide has requested somebody from street crimes to, um, you know, weigh in, lend him a hand, and um, your name came up. Okay. No problem. Sounds easy enough. Uh, one other thing. Johnny Tran. His lawyer claims you damn near tried to kill him. I disarmed him. He had a six-inch straight razor. And I think he got off easy. I've seen the picture, Sean. Looks like he got hit by a wrecking ball. Is that what this is about? Is that what you called me? Yeah, this is what this is about. Four complaints in as many months, then this shootout. Your shit's out of control. Are you trying to blame me for Dave and Trey? No, 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 that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about what happened in the house after they got hit. You seen internal affairs out there quizzing your boys? You think they're not the least bit curious about some son of a bitch at the end of a hallway that takes it point blank, holding an empty weapon in his hand? It doesn't take a genius to figure out what happened. Look, I know where you're at. I do. Been there myself, and you know about that. But you keep heading down a path this dark. And I'll tell you something, son. You ain't ever gonna find your way back. Is that it? Yeah, that's it.
Hey, brother, brother, what's going on? Colin? What the hell are you doing there? Well, that's a fine fucking idea you do, isn't it? How long have you been in town? I don't know, not long, you know, a couple of weeks. Where your lady? Where Jacob at? Uh, they're not here right now. They're, they're out of town at the folks' house. Come on, brother. Let's go get a drink. No, oh, man, it's been a hell of a day. I'm probably gonna pack it in. Oh, you just gonna pack it in. All right. We'll drink here. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, okay. All right. One drink. You're buying. My boy, my boy! Say, sugar to Jamie's? <laughs> Is that storm really as bad as I said? Oh, shit, yeah. Right where the levees broke, it was like a fucking atom bomb went off. The whole neighborhood was just gone. Well, that was the worst thing, Carl, was, was watching people just wade through the water right past these bodies, like, just like they weren't even there. Yeah, I know I said it before, but you know, I just want you to know that I really appreciate you getting my granddaddy out. I do. I drove by his house the other day, total fucking ride off. How's he doing? Ah, he's doing good, you know. Ended up moving in with his sister down in Algiers. What about you, bro? Uh, you know, little this, little that. You know, I got out of dump right after you, right after flu. Got a nice little gay work for a security contractor. What crew? Spot. They pay mad money, brother. Yeah, but that check's only good if you live long enough to cash it, Colin. Well, that's rich. Coming from somebody who chose to be a cop in this city. I think Baghdad over this war zone any day. Thank you, man. So what's with the suddenly out of nowhere? I don't know, just... I'm about to leave town again. You know, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure when I'm gonna come back. I just wanted to see you one last time before I left. One last time? You going somewhere? Great beyond? You ever do something? Something you wish to God you could undo? You know I am. You don't have any luck making it right. That's what I thought. Yeah. Now? No, Lewis. No, that's no good. I'll make you down by the river walk. Sorry, but I gotta run. I gotta go meet somebody. You fucking kidding me? You're gonna talk to me about something like that and you're gonna walk away from me? I almost forgot. I got Jacob a birthday present. It's a new movie with the Karate Tiger in there. Got him Bangkok. Shit ain't even out yet. You should take a look at that. Carl. Come on, man. What's going on? It's good seeing you, bro. Call it. My bad. You said you wanted a driver's license, right? Not a passport. Yeah. Uh, California ones if it's cool. Right, well, that's, that's fine. Okay, all right. Very cool. There. Sit back behind me. Hold on a second. All right. Lewis, you get it? Well, get it and get back here. All right. So I'm about 
that. Take one second here. All right, you ready? On one, two. It's gonna hurt a little bit, mate. Just thought I'd give you another quick jingle. Look, I hate to sound like a broken record champ, but Sonny here asked me to give you another call to see if you could possibly stop by the studio as soon as you can. That'd be great. Hope you're well, and we hope to see you soon. All right, mate. Ta-da. Bye. It's fucking ridiculous. <sighs> hey, Crow. Listen, mate, I really don't think this is going to work. This kid's not going to buy any of this bullshit. Okay. Well, how about you cut me loose with a few of the boys to see what I can scrounge up? Yeah, yeah. Ranko, what do you say? Let's do it. See you through a window, boys. Sonny, I just had the strangest realization. You and I might be more alike than you would have ever have thought. Bear with me on this, okay? We're both artists, right? Granted, we have chosen to work in vastly different mediums, or canvases, if you will. But we both want the same thing, right? All we have to do is communicate our most sincere intentions and desires. Isn't that right? Hmm? Isn't that right? So tell me again, Sonny. Where was your little buddy, Lewis, supposed to go and meet him? He went to go collect a down payment. He left about an hour ago. He's supposed to be back by now. Where is he now? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Something went wrong, or, or he, he just went out with this girl, or uh, I, I swear to God, I don't know. But that makes me feel like we're back where we started. I'm trying. I'm trying. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever heard the legend of Baba Yaga?
Hey, Will. Yeah. On the owner's cell phone. I checked recent calls. They're all out going to the same two numbers, dialed over and over again. Uh, do what you can to trace them. It's probably a waste of time, but you never know. Sean? Sean Riley? Yeah. How you doing, Detective Will Gaines? Nice to meet you. Yeah, same here. Who's the OIC? That would be me. Okay. I'm sorry, man. Trey hand sent me down. Yeah, I know. Thanks for coming. Think we could use you on this one. What you got working? Uh, come on. I'll show you. What, there's more? A lot more. Mo, could you join us on the roof, please? Okay, right behind you. Gans. Christ, I I'll be right down. Press is here. Look, walk him through this. I'll be right back. We'll do. Hey, Nick, can you boys give us a minute? All right, all right. So we we think this is the owner, uh, Beaumont. Sonny. That's Sonny? Yeah, you know him? Yeah, I know him. Small time forger, fake IDs, passports, credit cards, that kind of stuff. Well, that explains what we found downstairs. I read the report on Widow's kid brother. You think this is the same MO? Light him up, put him out, light him up again? Yeah, pretty much identical. So you guys think this goes back to Widow, huh? You think different? I'm not saying that. But I'll tell you what. I just don't know anybody that's got the balls to go heads up against Weddle like that. What are you looking for? Well, Sonny has this little fucking idiot he hangs out with named Lewis. See that tat on Sonny's right calf? Uh-huh. Well, if this is Lewis, there'd be one right there, too. See, that was their dog, Bunny. You mean to tell me this guy and Lewis have a matching poodle tat? Yeah, I guess it sounds stupid, but... You'd have to meet this dog, you know? I mean, this was like the movie star of the Poodles. It's like fucking Lassie, you know? Tap out numbers with his paw, twirl around like a ballerina, dump on command. I mean, pretty special fucking animal. All right, so let me guess all the witnesses came down with CRS. What? Can't remember shit. Yeah, pretty much. All right, the way we see it, the kids downstairs were trying to score fake IDs, went bam. The door gets kicked in, they didn't even have time to react. They just got lit up right on the spot. Okay, so they do the triple downstairs, drag Sonny and this kid up here for the barbecue. Scare the shit out. Yeah, by torturing this kid right in front of him over and over again. Then when they were done with him, they lit him up and left him twisted in the wind. So how can I help? To start, introductions to Weddo. Sonny's family and friends, and anyone else who may know why he'd be a target for something like this. All right, let's see what I can do. But I'm driving. Hey, by the way, when you walked in, you were looking for something. Yeah, strays. Strays? Straight bullets? There weren't any. I'm not sure if you saw how tight those groupings were, but that type of shot placement takes some serious fucking talent. So you were checking out the shell casings. The shooters were all within a couple of feet of each other, right? So they have history together. Yeah, or something. I think I know who we should talk to. Question for you. Come over here, I want to talk to you. Right on, I'm good. Bro. Come over here. Yeah, cool. Get your ass over here and talk to me. Don't do it. All right. Melvin, if you take another step, I'm gonna knock the rest of your fucking teeth what? out. Get over here, Melvin. Got you, son of a bitch.
Nice hit. Thanks. What is this? What's what? Melvin. Credit card fraud? But I thought you were too fucking stupid for that. I, I am. So you just admitted to it. No, man, I ain't admit to shit. That's my old man's car. This is your old man's car? Rajim Mugambi? Are you kidding me? That's my mama's boyfriend. <laughs> you do know these coming through the mail like they did? That's a federal pinch. Hey, come on now. Tell me what you want. You know, I'll give it to you. I sent you the phone book, Holmes. All right, your boyfriend Lewis. That's easy, man. Go see Sonny. He hook you up. Yeah, we tried that. He's not going to be much help. What about the other cats he's rolling with? Hell, man, I don't know. Uh, last time I seen him, they was running around with some white dude, some crazy-ass fool from the channel. Got a name? One of them cracker-only names, some shit. Connor, Conway. Colin? That's it, Colin. Come on, let's get out of here. Looks like today's your lucky day. Mo, what's happening? Talk to me. Sunny Cell? You get a trace on it? Hey, Sean, hold on one sec. Text me the address. Shit! Sean. Door is open. Scared the hell out of me. Where are you going, Stace? What? Where are you going? Suitcase. I was just going to my mom's for the weekend. Lies. Fuck you, Sean! Stace, I saw your car outside. You got everything you own in that piece of shit. Where are you going? What do you care? Where's Colin? How the fuck should I know? I haven't seen him in two years. Where are you going to meet him? I'm not. I wouldn't meet him anywhere, anytime, ever. God damn it! Damn it! Two years? I haven't seen him in two years? What the fuck is this? No, that's my money. I earned it. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting clean. I'm going to Florida. I got an apartment and everything. Enough! God damn it! I want the truth! I'm not going to meet him! Yeah, I got to play right back. All right. I came home a couple of nights ago and I found Colin on the stoop. He was drunk and all coked out. And he was talking nonsense. Wanting to run off some shit. And he started freaking out. He was crying and he gave me the money and he told me, don't ask any questions, just take and get the fuck out of town. Did he tell you where he's going? Yeah, he said he was going to see you. What the hell was that? What'd your boy find out? We got a trace on one of their numbers at Sonny's. It's billing us some dump off of MLK. So that was a quiet ride on the way over here. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. I must have a lot on my mind. Oh, yeah, like what? Colin? Excuse me? He's a buddy of yours, right? What, he in some kind of trouble? I mean, who'd be after him? OK, look, are you feeling left out? I don't know what he's into, OK? The guy is a goddamn magnet for trouble. So how long have you known him? My entire life. I've known him my whole life, Will. Every pile of shit I've ever stepped in, Colin's been right in the center of. Going back to what I heard Stacy talking about. Did he? Did he what? Come see you. Yes. When? Last night. 
Last night? You weren't going to tell me? What did he want? I don't know what he wants. As soon as I find out, though, trust me, you're going to be the first person to know. Are we going to do this? After you, sir. Easy. Ease up, champions. Very rude of you not knocking, mind you, but for now, just take it easy. Because things could get real fucking ugly real fucking fast in here if we're not real fucking careful. Comprendez-vous? <laughs> Away from me, you psycho cop! You fucking cut cop! Put the gun down! Shut up, you fucking tosser! You're a fucking weak cunt, you are! Uh. Put the gun down now! Fuck off! You fucking dog! I'll fucking kill her! I'm warning you! You're a fucking psycho cunt! Keep crying, sweetheart! Keep fucking crying! You want Put to kill her? the gun down now! Fuck you! You wanna fucking see it? I'll fucking kill her where she stands! She's gonna fucking die for you! Right now! The brains will be all on the fucking pavement! Right now! What? What happened? What? We don't know. But something went really wrong. What do you mean something went really wrong? Not any more fucking details than that. The reporters were saying that there was some kind of shootout. They're all dead, crew. Ranko, Cole, all of them. How the fuck is this possible? Hello. 
That's all you have to say to me, Raymond? That's it? Now, Mr. Richter, wait. No, 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 I'm done waiting. And from the sound of my last phone call with the company, so are they. Well, I've tracked them down this far. That must account for something. Of course it does. It accounts for why you are still capable of taking this call. You don't have to take this conversation in that direction. I'll come through. Just give me a little more time. What you need is to accept the fact that that isn't remotely a possibility. And deliver as you promised you would. We warned you, didn't we, about the risk of stepping into this arena? That you did. But we've been working together a very long time. Surely you can convince the company to... Oh, please, Raymond, don't do this. This grappling, seriously, I just can't... Stomach it, I can't. But all I'm asking you to do is... Enough, enough. It is what it is. Nothing changes. You have till midnight. Midnight tomorrow. Now you hold on. Rick... Dos Corovare. God damn it, Rick, hold on! Rick... Rick... Griff, I want you and Decker to find out what the hell went so fucking wrong! Let's go, boys. Mostly because of this guy here. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, Sean, this is my beautiful wife, Beth. Hi. Hi, my mother. Hey, nice Hi, to Beth. meet you. My princess, Sarah. Hi. Yes, sir. And this is little Mad Max. Cool. Come on, Daddy, I gotta show you something. Yes, baby. Come on in. Sean, I forgot to tell you, you're staying for dinner. Thank you guys. This was really great. You're very welcome. Is it me or are they being way too quiet? No, they're fine. So tell me, how'd you guys meet? You want to tell them one of your versions or should I tell the truth? We met at LSU. My car ran out of gas next to his dorm and he came to my rescue. Lucky man. Ain't I? <laughs> <laughs> so Sean, what about you? Is there a Mrs. Riley? Yes, there was. Yeah. Any kids? We had a son. His name was Jacob. He was uh, six years old. He got diagnosed with leukemia about a year and a half ago. He, uh, we lost him. Yeah, so anyway, she, she left after that. I guess she, she could only take looking at me and seeing him for so long, you know? I didn't know. No, don't be sorry, guys. It's it's all right. Usually I just, I, I make up some bullshit story to tell people because I don't want to seem so pathetic, you know. <laughs> Anyways, by the way, I tell you what a beautiful family you guys have. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> Especially your little princess over there. Oh, man, Sarah, what are you doing to this poor kid? Come here, buddy. <laughs> no, we don't want to be a princess. That's not cool. <laughs> yeah, I guess he thinks after his dad. Oh, yeah. Well, I bet you're enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> Let's go get you a fireman's hat or something. Thanks, brother. You got a nice neighborhood. What's wrong, man? You all right? I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I froze up on you today. That's bullshit, Will. Get that out of your mind. You did exactly what anyone else would have done. Not you, man. I mean, you went in there after them like the odds were in your favor. It ain't even the same thing. It's just different. Look, Will, when you came around that corner today, you didn't see me. You didn't see those guys with the guns. All you saw was that Norman Rockwell you got inside. I don't have that. I ain't got that to lose. That's the difference. <laughs> A blessing out of every tragedy. What's that? My father, he, he was a preacher. If there's anything my old man ever taught me is that everything happens for a purpose. You believe that? <laughs> Tell me, what, what's the reason for a, a four-year-old boy 
to suffer in agony for two years. There a reason for that? Look, just think about what happened today. That if things had gone different and I was the one lying cold on that street right now, like it or not, it was meant to be. Yeah, well, it's easy to say that while you're sitting here comfy with your beer. Oh, come on, man. Ain't it possible that what happened to you and your family wasn't just random tragic bad luck? Maybe there's something great at stake? What are you, what are you trying to say? That what happened today was something holy? I don't believe in miracles. I'm not a saint, Will. Today, for me and my family, today you were. <laughs> All right. It's late. You, you're going to believe what you believe. I believe what I believe. Okay. That's fair enough. What? What's that look? Is that supposed to scare me? What, do you want to take me to church? You read my mind. How about Sunday? No. You don't want to go? I don't. <laughs> Come on, man. I got to get my keys. It's late. And you got to get some sleep. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. What's going on? Where? The mama where? Sure, it's her. Yeah, it's her. Hey, you realize what this means, right? This ain't about Weddle. This is all your buddy Colin. All right, listen. You have any luck tracking that other number on Sonny's cell phone? Another dead end. Prepaid phone with the bogus address. All right, well, do me a favor. Check the reporter's phone records. See if that same number pops up anywhere. You think it's Collins? All right, I gotta go. I'll get back to you. What do we got here, Sean? It ain't good. We know who it is? Yeah, her name's Stacy. Interviewed her yesterday. Thinks she might be connected with one of our possible suspects. Possible? Yeah, it would be a probable now, wouldn't it? Look, um, I hate to bring this up, but you had a call from headquarters. Heat's being put on them from City Hall, who's being hammered by the press about those shootings yesterday. I got you in the crosshairs. They won't offer me up. Kind of looks that way. How much time do I have? Tomorrow. Is there any way around it? I don't think so. Fuck. All right, fuck them. Look, I need your help. You think you can get the forensics to rush the IDs on those guys from the shootout? Sean, come on, Pete. I'll do what I can. Yeah. I thought I was a small one. Colin called him. About a dozen times. God damn it. Why Malcolm? I mean, why a reporter? Yeah, well, it must be something big. I have something on these guys looking for him. Something they don't want going to the press. Right. So we got to get to him before they do. I'll meet you downstairs. All right, I'm on my way.
Tell me what you know. You know everyone in this fucking hey, what's up, cuz? Fool's lost or something? Hey, keep rolling, homie. Shit, where you get that? A Cracker Jack box? What motherfucker? You want to take a closer look at it? Oh, I'd love to. Fuck you, Tom. Get your ass in here. What the fuck is going on? Then who are you? Who's who? Oh shit. You recognize me, white boy? Yeah, I know who you are. That's good. Then I guess we can cut straight to the fucking chase. I wanna know what you know. Are you fucking kidding me? Do I look like a humorous motherfucker to you? Somebody butchered my family. Roasted my baby brother alive. They took from me the only thing good, the only thing pure I ever had a hand in. But we don't know shit. Please, okay, please, okay, please, all right. Please, you please, got this please. fucking wrong. This ain't about you, man. This ain't about you. What you mean? I know this ain't about Malcolm. It's not about Malcolm. It's about Malcolm's job. Widow, your brother was in the wrong place at the wrong fucking time, all right? I understand where your head's at, man. If I were you, I'd be doing the same fucking thing. But trust me, this ain't the way to handle this. Yeah, so what is? Let us do our jobs. Widow, hunting and tracking people is what we're good at. We'll find this motherfucker. He, he's right. With us, it's the best chance you got to find these guys before they skip town. All right. We'll play it your way for now, cop. But know this, brother. I'm going to be a shadow on your ass watching and waiting. One way or another, there's going to be a reckoning for this, huh? Some motherfucker definitely going to reap what he sow, you heard me? So we're right back where we started from. Well, let me check with the feds first, see if they've had any luck with the prince yeah, yet. Yeah, where are we on it? Will's upstairs on the phone with him right now. What did you find out? Nothing. No, we know shit. What about you guys? Well, forensics ID the burn vic from yesterday. Yeah, Lewis Gunther. How do they tie in? Lewis was Sonny's errand boy. What about these guys? That's what we were just talking about. It's a strange deal. All the IDs we found on them, bogus. All of them? Yeah, but not your usual internet garbage, real high quality stuff. I honestly thought they were the real deal till I ran them. Eh, why don't you take a look at Pretty Boy over here? Well, here's something you might find interesting. They dug those out of his shoulder. At first, I thought it was bullet fragments. So what is it? Shrapnel. That's what I was figuring. Check this one out. Forensics is guessing it's from a 308 or bigger. There's another one in the meat locker. He's got a Cyrillic tattoo on his forearm and what looks to be old white phosphorus burn scars peppered all over his back and shoulders. More ones. Looks that way. All right, well, that explains a lot. How so? Yesterday when I shot it out with these guys, their weapons, tactics. Ex-soldiers. More than that. These guys are professionals. Real deal shooters. Well, that's just great. What's going on, John? What are you getting yourself into?
So Colin tries to contact Weddle's little brother, right? Right. Somehow the guy's looking for him, find out, and get to him first. Colin hears about it. Right. So he freaks out, decides he's got no other choice but to disappear. But without ID, you can only run so far. Exactly. So he goes to Sonny. But they get to Sonny, too. So how the fuck are these guys figuring out who Colin's reaching out to? They got access to his phone records. Oh. You said you think these guys are good, right? Right. Maybe he made a mistake buying the phone. A credit card he used or an alias they picked up on. I don't know. Something. Whatever it was, they found out. Yeah, we pulled that off of that Aussie I greased in the parking lot. When did Ray's reopen? What'd you say? Ray's. That club's been closed since the storm. I worked the homicide about two weeks ago across the street, and it was still shut down. Hang on. Hello? What do you think of when you hear my name? Is that why you ain't told me about your boy? About Renee leaving? God, I'm so sorry, man. I wish I could have been there for you. And done what? I don't know. Something. Anything. I never help you. I can never do for you what you've done for me. Let me bring you in. Just tell me what you're into. You need to let it go, Sean. You can't save me this time. I know that. When you come after me, you won't even be able to save yourself. Just tell me where you're at, and I'll come get you. You're not listening. Let it go, Sean. Colin. Colin! Colin, I gotta tell you about Stacy. God damn it! Sean. It's been over five years. And? And? So what's this napkin doing in this guy's pocket? Oh, shit. Excuse me. Who are you looking for? Her name's Stacy O'Neill. Never heard of her. Any reason I should have? You know, I'm sorry. I'm Detective Riley. This is it Detective Gans? You are? Raymond Crow. Pleasure's mine. Like I was saying, yeah, we're looking for a girl. Uh, a good friend of hers said that she was working here last week as a dancer. She said that, huh? That's odd. Yeah, how's that? Well, as you can see, we're still remodeling and we haven't hired anyone. Well, what's the problem? Your friend in trouble? You can say that. If you'll excuse me, I have a lot of work to do. Right. I'm sure you guys are super busy with the uh, remodeling and everything. But unfortunately, I have information that puts that girl in this nightclub. So, uh, I'm just doing my job. You know what I mean? I understand completely. But I'm just trying to do my job. You know what I mean? Do you mind if I make an observation, detective? It's only my opinion. But if I were you, I'd be very, very careful on this one. Because a man that can do something like that, you never know what he's capable of. You got a good point. But you can also see it like this. If I was that guy, I'd be pretty fucking concerned with what I'm capable of. Oh, Raymond, this has been fun. Here's my card. If you or any of your friends ever want to talk, don't hesitate.
I'm sure we'll be in touch. Detective Riley. That's him, isn't it? Yeah, that's him. Wait, 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 wait a second. What was that? Did you like that? Did you see how that big, ugly motherfucker was looking at you? <laughs> I'm trying to forget it. You think I pissed him off? That's your plan? To piss off a gang of professional killers? <laughs> That's just brilliant. I'm out. I'd like to be a granddaddy someday, all right? Oh, shit. What? What? Colin. I know where he is. Colin's granddad's house. We used to play here when we were kids. Hey, Colin! Carl! Uh -huh. Hey, Carl! Colin! Colin, you here? It's me! Call in. You call. Don't move. Don't even flinch. Turn around. Slow. Call, it's me, man. What the fuck you doing? Who's he? It's my partner. Don't worry about him. Colin, you gotta talk to me, man. Tell me what's going on. Don't you understood me? What? I told you to back the fuck off. You don't wanna listen to me, you make your own decision. You wanna stay in it, then that's on you. That's on you. That's on me? Fuck you! That's on you, Colin. All of this is on you! You here to arrest me? Is that a detective? You fucking here to arrest me? You'll be lucky if I don't arrest you. You fucking love that shit, wouldn't they? Lock me in a fucking cage, make the goddamn jobs easy. Who are you talking about? Puppeteers with the fucking strings. Coney, these drugs have got you so fucked up you can't see straight. I just need fucking... I just gotta fucking disappear. Colin, if you don't level with me and let me in, I cannot help you. It's all about this company I was working for. They got me cowboy for this mystery client base down in L.A. So nasty fucking work. I'm talking totally off these black fucking bags. Shit you can't even fucking imagine. This last job, the one that just fucking broke me. And it's this mystery client wanted to secure some interest in one of the hot zones. It's Completely friendly operated too, and I just they was for what? To accomplish what? Oh fuck's sake, brother. There's people out there don't want this war to end. They know that. Carl, what do you have on them? So uh, that even matters anymore. What do you have? Spit it out! Look, I got video! Alright! I stole it. I got surveillance footage of direct action operations, interrogations. Jesus, I got shit that would bury everybody involved with fun forever. Evil, evil shit. It's too it. fucking hot, Colin. Then get rid of it. Just put it on the fucking internet and be done with it. What the fuck's wrong with you, man? You fucking stupid. That's my only bargaining chip. That's the only thing I have to trade for my protection. That's why I went to that reporter. Because he knew somebody from the Justice Department that was gonna fucking bring me in. I was supposed to meet him, Sean. God. This really is just about you trying to save your own ass, isn't it? 
What? You fucking stupid motherfucker. Sure, it ain't like Do you that. know what you've no. done? It ain't like that. Shit, do you know what you fucking done? I need a copy of the tape in case I didn't make it out. A lot of fucking innocent people died horrific fucking deaths I, because of I you. I didn't force anybody to do anything. Everybody knew the inherent risk. Everybody involved. Stacy know? What? Stacy know they fucking killed her, man. The girl's gone, they killed her. They burned her alive, Colin. What are you talking about? You fucking lying, man. Sean, you're fucking lying to me about her. Ain't nothing wrong with Stacy. You're fucking liar, Sean. You're fucking liar. Crow's on that tape, isn't he? He works for Spartan. What? Crow's on the fucking video, isn't he? Where do you know that name from? Con? Just tell me where you heard her name. Put it down. Oh, fuck you. Everybody out the window, let's go, now! Carl, what are we doing, man? Carl! I'm with you, brother. Let's go. Get out of here. I'm so sorry, brother. I told you I had a backup plan. What the fuck are you doing, Colin? Let's go. Go as fast and as far away from this place as you can. Brother, where's the fucking video? <laughs> it's right here.
The explosion that happened here today has completely destroyed this home. At this time, local fire and police department officials are unable to comment. Sources say that peace officers were on the scene just before the firefighters began putting out the blaze. No word yet on whether anyone was at home when the blast occurred. Investigators are also on the scene and have been talking to locals to try to piece together just what happened today in this relatively quiet and mostly abandoned neighborhood. Yes, Mr. Richter. How can I help you? Well, my friend, you can brighten my very bleak and boring day and tell me you have good news for me to pass on. Well, Mr. Richter, it's not midnight yet. I still have a little time, right? So I can tell them you have it? Well, I know where it is. I just gotta go get it. Does we done ya, Raymond? Mr. Richter. Officials now stating that there may be at least one police officer that was involved in a shootout at this location earlier today. He is also believed to be under investigation by Internal Affairs for his alleged involvement in two other police shootings just in the past two weeks. We will continue to bring you updates throughout the evening as more information comes. Uh, fuck. You said the cop went directly to O'Neill's, correct? Yeah. It was Colin's grandfather's house. I need you to dig deeper into this person. As deep as you can. This disaster... It's finished. Finished tonight. There, please pick up the phone. I just got cut loose by IA and you already gone. I know what you're doing, man. You can't. Look, we can work something out, but you gotta talk to me. You can't keep ducking my calls. But don't go do something stupid that you can't undo. It's not worth it. Please, Sean, just call me. Them. Them. Now, how did you know the shipment was coming through this second? I, I, I don't hey, know hey, about hey, a shipment. Hey, how did you know? Wait, I don't know. Hey, 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 know. Hey, what's going on here? I'm asking the man a question and I want an answer. But we talked Please. about this. Please. Talked about what? No, you're not supposed to do this. I'm not supposed to do it. Well, Please. Jesus Christ, no. Cole. You talked to Simpson to him. Simpson, Ross, no. what do you want us to do? I want you to son. sort it out the right way. Right way, this is the right way. What the hell are you doing? Get him out of here. Get him the no, fuck no. out. Get him. Now you, can you help me? I don't know. <laughs> Stop it. Tell me how you do it. <laughs> how did you do it? Turn that fucking thing off. Your front door was cracked. Look, Cap, what's up with this stuff? Look, Cap, Mike, explain this. What the fuck are you up to? Pete, if headquarters wants to crucify me, then let him. Let him, I don't care. But let me just go get this fucking guy. You want to end up like your old man? Are you that delusional? I warned you about this, and don't say I didn't. This ain't about you. I have the fucking proof. Not about me. You have any fucking clue the lengths I've gone to to protect you? 
Are you so blind you can't see what's happening? You know what I see? I see my only fucking suspect disappearing because we're standing here dicking around. We Let can me... handle that. You're not the only cop in the city. What the fuck's that supposed to mean? What do you think it means? You know why I'm here? You come, you, were you gonna arrest me? Come on. Please, let me, let me finish this. I've seen the way you finish things. And you think this piece of shit deserves any less? That's just it, Sean. It ain't up to us to decide. You're done with this. Hey, pal. Do you remember me? Mm. Wow. Look at all this. I'm impressed. And this is Tora Bora, isn't it? I've been there. With Mr. Decker and Cole. Oh, they were tight. Almost inseparable. You remember Cole, don't you? Anyway, we found this. Thank you. I just need to know if there were any other copies. Go fuck yourself. What's with the language with you? You know, I got a chance to peek at your last site profile. I got to read all about you and your little boy. Awful. Just awful. Are you still struggling with that whole, uh, visiting the grave thing? Because I think I actually got misty when I read that part. Really. I'm gonna fucking kill you. All of you. This is a complete waste of time. I'm gonna go back and see if Griff had any luck with the other one. It's waking up. Nice knife. That is a cute little boy. No, really. He is. Hmm. Or should I say, was. This must be an old one. Hmm? Take him before he got old, pasty, white, and his hair fell out. Before the cancer really started to eat him up. Did he cry a lot? I bet he did. Didn't he? I bet he cried all night and fucking day. Yep. What? Yeah, he cried all the time. But you want to know why I was so proud of my son? Because he never begged for his life. Not once. Which is a lot more I could say for your friend Cole. Yeah. Real fucking tough guy. Begged for his life and pissed himself right before I smoked his bitch ass. Yeah! <laughs> 
Come on, motherfucker. Beth? Sean, is that you? Where's Will? He's not with you? I, I just came through the door and the, and the place is a wreck. What happened to him? Don't worry, he's fine. Oh, what's going on, Sean? There's blood. Nothing, nothing's going on. Don't you tell me that! Don't tell me that! Beth, calm down. What happened to him? Where, where is he, Sean? Beth, listen to me. <laughs> you take the kids next door, okay? I promise you, Will is coming home tonight. What are you gonna do, Sean? What are you what are you gonna do? Whatever it takes. the story of Baba Yaga? Of course not, why would you? Where I come from, little Odessa, everyone knows her name. You see, Baba Yaga was a witch. She'd fly around on her broom at night looking for little boys and little girls who misbehaved, and when she found them, she'd creep into their rooms and rack their knuckles as hard as she could. She did that because when they'd wake up in the morning and see the bruises on their hands, they would have known she was there. And they never would have done that of which was wrong ever again. You know, after Bosnia, after I left the agency, to be honest, I felt kind of lost. And uh, I could hardly find a job let alone myself, you know? The one job I did get was uh, night janitor at the city morgue. Yeah, my friends thought that was strange. So uh, they decided they were gonna call me Baba Yaga. I suppose they found that humorous, me sweeping the floors with my silly little broom. So I decided to pay them a little visit. But I didn't rack them on their knuckles with my silly little broom. I uh, chopped their fucking hands off. You see, my friends only ridiculed me but you and your friends, you're trying to fucking crucify me. I don't know what you're talking about. I swear, I don't have anything to do with this. Wait, 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 come on, man, stop. Please, I have a family. You do? Yes, I have a wife, a little boy, and a little girl. Please don't do this. And you didn't find that important? Get Decker on the phone. Playtime's over. I want him to pick up the family. No! I swear to God, you touch my family, I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> Never mind. It's him. Hey, I was just calling you. Decker? Decker? Ringing.
out of here! Don't let him out of here! Want me? You really fucking want me? Open your eyes. Open your fucking eyes. I told you this was coming. Finish him, Sean! Sure. 
him! Sean, goddammit, just shoot him! Sam? You recognize me, white boy? People say I look a lot like my baby brother, only prettier. So you think you're the most ruthless motherfucker on the block? Please. This Nolan's white boy, you ain't seen nothing yet. Get him in the van. Wait! Wait! No! You can't do this to me, Wait! Let go of me! Ah! Ah! You motherfucker! Ah! baby. Shop or something with dogs and cats and stuff, so. I'm sure she'll love it. Yeah? You know, I'm not really good with the whole uh, presents. Thank you, Sean. <sighs> I don't know what else to say. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Just Mrs. Gans? You remember me? Your husband? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, we were just gonna sneak out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet. <laughs> Keep it up. There's more where that came from. Oh, that's my cue. Lucky man. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm gonna let you go do your thing. I just came to drop that off for Sarah. Hey, come on. You're not gonna stay? No, I gotta... I got somewhere, uh, something to do. Mm-hmm. All right, well, how about you come back after you're done? Yeah. All right. Look, I'll walk you out. Come on. She's back. Yeah, better, stronger, and faster. You all right? Yeah, I think my nerves are still a little shy. Yeah, I know. I really thought it was over for me. But it wasn't. You're gonna be all right, trust me. It's just gonna take a little time. I gotta go. 
and you gotta get back in there. Oh, what are you afraid of? That. Haha, <laughs> chicken shit. Yeah, you're right. Take it easy, partner. <laughs> <laughs>